Sí. Besides, my place is here. I think you'd like Vault. It's beautiful. The cat are everywhere. Then perhaps of our own. I'd be better off among the criminals of Kadara.
Pathfinder. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from Aya's people. It'll take a long time to trust strangers again. Which is why they want the Nexus to listen to them. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you'd take a look and forward their communications to your people.
Yes, I have some items we won't be using. Ever told me to send them your way. Goods for the home, tools for the people. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing, but you proved I was wrong to doubt. No, more than that, you didn't have to save the captives from exultation. I wonder if you realize what that meant to us. We're in this together. The Initiative wants to help. I want to believe it. You're so different from the Ket. What can I do for you? Why didn't you tell me about Kadara Port when I first arrived? I assumed you already knew. We didn't realize there was a difference between your exiles and the Initiative. Fair enough. As for Venterev, Ephra hid his betrayal from everyone. He'll answer for that. So, what do you do for fun around here? The Tavitan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. Ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings do you have? Just one. My sister, Sarah. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> when my family gets together, the noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. My mother says I became governor, so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. I sense tension between your government and the Resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders, right until the actual work of running a city starts. The Resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket, but our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control, just often enough to maintain my own. What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days, it's a burden. 
Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, you mean argue loudly until one candidate remains? Then yes. I got here because I was willing to endure and fight for the obligations that come with my office. Is there time in your busy schedule to meet someone special? Everyone is special to me, in their own way. <laughs> Not what I meant. Oh, no, that isn't a priority right now. Someday, maybe. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassal so everyone could enjoy this place, if only for a short time. I heard about that. For a new person to live on Aya, someone here has to leave. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The cat left my homeworld in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do to earn that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything, and we'll do anything to protect her. I'm hoping you can get me on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all, and other times... He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. What do you believe? We can't defeat the Cat alone, and neither can your initiative. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder.
got word from Eladin. Good news? Well, we got another remnant piece. But nothing Angarin. Pay them for their effort. It's not their fault. Pathfinder. I'll leave you to it. So much about you. Is it true you entered a vault on Eos? Sure is. Amazing. I would have liked to see that. Are you a relic hunter like Avela? Actually, I started as an engineer. The most shy requested my help cracking encryption on a remnant ship she found. Eventually, that led me to the repository. I've been handling data encryption here ever since. I take it you help run this place. Nalan and I are Avela's assistants. It's been strange getting used to that. Why? Avela's much younger than the previous curator. She has a lot more energy. Sometimes I have to remind her to take a break. She's too passionate for her own good. I'll let you get back to it. You know, the more I interact with the Angara, the more I feel for them. Especially with what we know about exaltation, I can't imagine. The Angara are resilient. Learning what the Ket are doing will give them new purpose. Well, I am determined to help them. We need to make things right. Ryder. Pavala, I'm glad they finally let you into the city. You deserve it. This is Aya's Cultural Museum and History Archive. It's small, but you've already made it brighter. Pathfinder, I've been studying the helmet you found and it's got me thinking. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even know that helmet existed. What if that's not all we're missing? There could be a wealth of history just out of our reach. So, I'm requesting your help again. For you? Anything. I'd be lying if I said I didn't like the sound of that. I've laid eggs on every Angara and Homeworld, but there are places I've missed. Areas only a Pathfinder could go. There could be relics sitting untouched for centuries because no one could reach them. What I ask is this. If you ever find yourself in an area like that, you keep an eye out for artifacts. That's it? That's it. Keep me in mind as you explore and bring me anything of interest. It'd help if I knew where to look. Any planet could contain something of potential value. My people traveled far. I know that doesn't answer your question, but just keep your eyes open for me. You're the expert. Can't you just come with me? I'd like to, more than anything, but I'm needed here. My predecessor trusted me to stay and carry on his work, to find answers. No matter how much I miss the adventure, I have a responsibility here. A few hidden relics coming up. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'll be here if you find anything. Good luck. You know, as an Aya resident, it's your duty to show the new guy around. I see. Is that a human custom? Oh yeah, a very important one. And I'm sure Paran will be happy to give you a tour. This is quite a place. It feels like home to me. Sometimes I think I should move in here. But it's got a long way to go. Someday we'll fill it with relics of the past, each one telling a story. And my people will come here to learn, and to remember. You'll get there. With enough hard work, yes. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels.
Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. approach. Vold orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Lexi gave me some reading material about Asari culture. And? What? Oh, and... Nothing. You're an interesting people. Although, it's curious that you take the genetic material of other races to improve your own. Like the Ket.
I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support restored. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. The ambient temperature is normal. Life support is back online. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. The temperature is... Avena mentioned sites like this might contain Angaran relics. We should search it. Temperature is falling. Pathfinder. The ambient temperature is normal. Life support is back online. PB said she wanted to talk to you. Fold orbit is steady.
Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? I picked up this figure earlier. It might be Angaran. This... this is unfamiliar to me. It, it does resemble an Angara, but he looks so strange. It's clearly centuries old. Is it an artistic interpretation, or is this what we really look like? The implications. Pathfinder, you may have discovered our earliest artifact yet. Could it be a relic from another culture? The technique and material matches other Angaran relics, and you found it in one of our worlds. But perhaps the depiction isn't an Angara, it could be a deity of some sort. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Supplies have been tight, so we haven't been able to send out as much as we'd like. I was going to offer to make space to take back whatever was available, but I guess it won't be needed. Let me check just in case. Paran would be happier sending one box than nothing. Pathfinder. When you have a moment, we should talk. PB said she wanted to talk to you. Come on, think. Think. 
Hank, I need something. Who are you talking to? Ryder, shit. You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. Don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Ugh! You've got to relax. You're starting to stress me out. I'd like to. I'd need to. Yes. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. You're willing to share? I won't cramp your style? Let's find out. All right, I'm in. And this should do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? You haven't taken the bait yet, but I'm not afraid of rejection. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. I don't think so, PB. That's fine. Say no more. I hope this is enough. Hey, don't you know what say no more means? Really, I mean it. No explanation necessary. Just thank you for this. What can I do for you, Pathfinder? You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Caught you napping. Do all Angara snore, or just you? Do all humans whimper in their sleep? Or just you? Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. We've barely scratched the surface of what Cat are capable of. The Exalted are new beings. It's more than a transformation. It's a birth. There's no going back. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. And you're taking good care of him. Just remember why you came here, too. 
There is a new alien species on your table. My hands actually shook when I made the first incision. See this bone-like armor? It feels as strong as a Krogan's frontal plate. I'll take your word for it. <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. Feeling okay? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me.